it's beginning to look a lot like fuck this. Hi, how's it going, everyone? WTF Sexy Headphones here. Happy Wednesdays or Thursdays to you guys. If you couldn't tell, it's beginning to look a lot like fuck this. You know what I'm fucking saying? That's right. We have a... We have a rant vlog for you today. It is the holiday season. I fucking work in retail. And you know what that fucking means? It means rants. Lots and lots and lots of rants because people suck, everyone. Everyone knows it. People fucking suck. We all suck. And do we do it well? I don't fucking know. Maybe. Maybe not. That's not for me to decide. But let me just, okay, so let's just, let's just jump, let's just get into the meats. Let's just get into the meats. The meat. Let's get down to shit. So let me rant to you about this annoying motherfucker that just like drove, <laughs> drove my manager to insanity to give him free shit the other day just to make him leave. But let's go back a few days to Black Friday when I first met this particular individual. So move that out of the way. Do you guys like my alien? This is, hold on. Let's, let's go into this first. This is the shirt I asked John for Christmas. <laughs> I mean, no. My birthday. Yeah, my birthday. I was like, it's not even Christmas yet. This is the shirt I asked for John for my birthday. I don't know what it is, if it pertains to something, if it means anything. I don't I don't know. I don't know what this fucking is, but I fucking love it. <laughs> it just looks like a judgmental ass alien like, but is it art? I just like I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it pertains to fucking nothing, but I just like look look at look at look at it. I love it. Anyway. So it all started Black Friday, a day where I work fucking like 14 hours with no break because I work in the lovely world of retail and sales and shit. That's my life. That's what I do. I help people. I sell people things, preferably sell people things, but whatever. So I found out all of us were scheduled from like 7 to either eight, which is our closing point. And obviously that just means whenever people get the fuck out of there, you leave, you don't leave at eight. Um, and surprisingly, my manager had some people scheduled till seven. I was one of those people that was surprisingly scheduled till fucking seven. So that means I don't got to fucking stick around. I've already been here for lots and lots and lots of hours. I can fucking bounce. Um, but I'm like, you know what? It's Black Friday. People are here to buy shit, not complain to me that their Bell South email isn't working and ask me to fix it, even though Bell South was a fucking... I, like, it's just, it ain't me. You know, it ain't me. I ain't Bell South. But whatever. So I'm like, you know, like, I'm like, I have no reason to go home yet. I'm like, I'll go take another person or two because I've just been flinging shit left and right and I've been on a ball, roll, something. And it's been good. It's been really good, you guys. Um, So 7.45 comes around and I'm like, all right, I'm thinking I'm going to dip. It's close to close. I think we only had like two people in queue at this point. So it was finally slowing down. So I'm like, no big deal if I, if I, if I dip the fuck out of here. I'm, this is going to be a long rant. I don't know how to make short stories. This is going to be like a 20 minute video. Strap yourselves fucking in. Grab a water. Here we go. Um, where was I talking about? Yeah. So I was about to leave and I'm just like, all right, it's close enough to close. I've suffered long enough. My feet are killing me. And then my manager's like, well, there's two people who want to switch providers looking to get new service and blah, blah, blah. So like, you know, you don't have to stay, but I'm like, no, yeah, I guess I'll go take that. And my manager's like, are you sure? I can tell you're reluctant. I'm like, well, because I'm fucking tired. But I'm like, no, I'm like, I'll go, I'll go work. Um, I'll go do shit. Um, and to try and make this somewhat shorter, which I always say that, but I don't think it ever happens, but to try, um, maybe long story short, this guy did not plan on buying anything that day, which is fine. He wanted a quote and we have a quote tool where we can price everything out, print it out, go over, explain it. Cool. That doesn't take long. So I'm like, whatever, I can give this guy a quote, give him the nitty gritty and then be like, all right, peace out later alligators. I'm out. I'm. Except this was one of those dudes who's like been with the same people for 20 years, doesn't know what a fucking cell phone is, but does have one and uh, has to ask every question they can think of under the sun. So it was like, well, what if we did this and this? Okay, it'd be like a difference of around like, like you kind of get to know the numbers off the top of your head. So I'm like, it'll be a difference around that. Well, can I get a quote for that? Sure, let me rework this whole fucking thing. So our system 
it works well, but it is relatively slow. Um, so it just takes time to redo everything over and you have to do it in a certain way. And it's a, it's, it's a work in progress is what it is. It's a good system, but when someone keeps asking you for different quotes, you're like, okay, this is taking forever. So he like asked for four or five different fucking printouts that I had to do over and over and over again. And again, it just takes a while and I'm explaining everything, but then like he has to do the math himself. So then he's like on the paper doing the fucking math. So this would be this and this. And I'm like, here's a printout of everything. Then I fucking just said, it's right here, right here. It's on the paper, this. I waved that around because I thought that was a bill and I didn't need you guys to all see my what goes on in my life. But anyway, I was like, there, there, it's right there. But he's just like, so this would be this. This would be this. Okay, so if we did this and this would be this. And I'm like, okay, that'll be that. So, you know, we're looking about about that, right? Uh, gee, I don't know. See this, see this printout? This is the printout now. See this printout? Yes, yes. It, the same number is right there. This is how this works. I explained it to you. Blah, 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 blah. So this guy's just going on and fucking on. And I'm just like, I just want to go home at this point because you're just wasting my time. I'm not getting a sale out of this. And while I do get paid hourly, I also make commission. And you need commission to not be a poor bitch. Because hourly is it. But if you want to, to not be poor, you want commission. And I'm just like, well, this is a waste of time. And I've already been here for like 13 hours with no break. So fuck you. Um, but anyway, so he, just, so he just won't quit. So he keeps asking... Like, you know, what about, you know, what about Best Buy? Do Best Buy have better deals? Bitch, I don't fucking know. I ain't Best Buy. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Best Buy. So I really couldn't tell you there, friend. And then he, so he has iPhones and he's like, well, what about transferring? And I'm like, okay, well you use iCloud or iTunes. That's the main way to transfer. You do it like that or that. Oh, you guys don't do it. No, no, my company is not Apple. Um, so we don't. And we used to have machines that would you would plug the, they were called cell brights and you would plug information in or phones in and they would transfer their old technology. They're slow as fucking molasses. To give you an idea, you could have a flip phone with like a hundred contacts and a hundred photos, which isn't much in this day and age. And they're small files and it could take like 20 fucking minutes. That's how shitty they are. So these fucking bitches with like 15,000 photos, you're talking like days worth of whatever. So they're gone. So I'm like, no, those are all gone. Blah, blah, blah. Well, what about Apple? Does Apple have these promos? If I go buy from them, they'll transfer it. And I'm like, yeah, of course they would because they're Apple and iTunes and iCloud are Apple. So yeah, if you did go to Apple, they might transfer your fucking shit because they're fucking Apple. Like, so I was getting fucking pissed. And again, like, I do pretty well to not show I'm irritated with people unless they are being an ass and I'm not afraid to have an attitude. That's the nice thing about my job is our managers have our backs. So if people are being a dick and we're just kind of like, all right, well, I ain't freaking dealing with you. Like you can walk out the door. I don't care. Like the managers are like, yeah, get them, Taryn. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Walk out the fucking door. I don't give a shit. So that's the nice thing about my job. But nevertheless, the guy's not being mean. He's just fucking obnoxious. He's fucking stupid. And he's wasting my fucking time. I've been there for 13 hours. I've had no break. I'm fucking hungry. My feet are killing me. And all I want to do is go home and die. Is that so much to ask? Obviously, it is so much to ask. So... I'm like, so I'm just like super irritated because especially too, like, again, I'm saying everything with like a smile and being all whatever, but I'm being rather forward. Like I literally wasn't joking. I literally told him, yeah, obviously Apple can transfer your stuff like they're Apple. So, you know, obviously they could, but I'm again Verizon. So I can't tell you what it is that they do. Um, so I'm kind of being forward, but I'm not, uh, I'm still just like trying to smile like, huh, I fucking hate you, but ha, huh, whatever. Um, Anyway, and then so I'm just like getting irritated because I'm pretty sure his daughter mouthed to him that I'm being a bitch and I'm just like, leave, I don't care, I'm not going to see you again, except I did and that was yesterday. All right, nine minutes in, we're doing pretty, we're making kind of good time, I don't know how long I'm going to talk about this next part, nobody fucking knows. Um, so except yesterday, so I'm not good at remembering people or things until I get kind of rolling and you guys know this, you've seen me, I'm not good at remembering shit. You all fucking know it. You see me all the time repeat myself or get confused or in one episode of a Let's Play, I'm doing one thing in the next episode, I totally forgot what I was fucking doing. It's just how I, it's just how I roll. So 
I don't realize that I'm dealing with this guy until I'm already dealing with him. Cause someone's like, why didn't you just try and avoid him and like throw him at someone else? I'm like, cause I don't fucking realize until later. And I was in a pretty good mood. So, you know what? I didn't really care. So I started dealing with this guy. Um, lo and behold, naturally after giving him a thousand quotes and all of my time, um, he went uh, to a store and bought them elsewhere. Um, still within my company, but he ended up buying them elsewhere. And at this point I didn't care because I didn't even want to deal with him. But however, so you guys know, if you buy cell phones, we work off a commission. So if we're dealing with you and giving you all this information, general rule of thumb, it is polite if you can to go see that person who helped you um, because that's how we make our money. So some people don't know that, honestly. Some people have no idea that that's how it works. Um, but cell phone companies are commission-based with their reps. Um, so if, you know, someone was nice to you and wasn't a piece of shit or anything like that, it's polite to go back to them if you can um, and give them your business because that's how they fucking make money. And as I said, I like I just was so fed up with this guy that I didn't like normally I'd be like, what a fucking dick. And still part of me is like, oh, what a fucking asshole. You literally asked me everything under the sun, wasted an hour of my time. Yeah, yeah. So I was with him for an hour. I didn't get home till nine o'clock. I dealt with that guy at 745 and I got home at nine or a little past nine. And all I'm thinking is like I literally could have been home an hour ago. But no, I just had to fucking deal with this guy. So anyway, so Sunday comes around. Wait, no, not Sunday. What day are we on? Wednesday, Tuesday. Yesterday comes around. I don't know why I said Sunday. Yesterday comes around. And so sure enough, he bought his devices elsewhere. And I'm just like, I don't even fucking care. He's just looking to get accessories. Cool, whatever. Here's cases. Here's whatever. This is what works for your phone. This is what's good. This is what isn't. Whatever. I'm in a good mood. It's all good in the neighborhood. I'm... Um, you know, he was having an issue with one of the phones, so I was helping him with that. Blah, 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 yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, well, I do have to consult my wife or whatever and see what cases and shit that they want. Because um, he was trying to get a deal where if you spend $200 uh, on accessories, you get um, $50 back or whatever. Cool, whatever. Yeah, I, to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure you have to do that all in the same transaction. Or at least that's what I told him. I think that's how it works, so I wasn't lying. Unless I'm wrong. I'm not 100% on that knowledge, though. But... I'm like, best to do it all at once. So he's like, cool, I'll be back. I'm like, all right, awesome. I'm like, like I put some shit to the side that he wanted or his daughter wanted or whatever. And I just knew, I fucking knew. So I told him, I'm like, hey, by the way, we close at eight o'clock. Um, you know, so, you know, you're new to our company. So, you know, just in case you weren't aware, we close at eight. So just make sure uh, to try and be back before then, obviously, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yesterday was just a really long freaking day. I once again was not allowed to take a break. Not not that I wasn't allowed. No one told me I couldn't. I just had customers coming in to see me and I was busy enough that literally the moment I went on, I went to go on break, someone else came in requesting me. And again, I make money off of sales. So it's like starve sales, starve sales. I'm like, I'm going to go just starve and make sales or whatever, or don't no, eat sales. I'm confused on what I'm doing anyway. So I just decided like, whatever, I'm just not going to have a fucking break today, whatever. Um, so the customer that was actually dealing with is John's mom. She was swapping on over. Um, uh, and I was like telling her, I'm like, holy crap, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten. And I was thinking of the mac and cheese from Panera for whatever reason. She's like, I'll go get you some. She's like, I haven't eaten either. Um, I'll get you some. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Thank you. So she brings me like some mac and cheese. And, and mind you, at this point, it's like seven it's like 7.40, 7.45 again. And I go in the back to go eat it. And guess who walks through the fucking door? The same guy from Black Friday. The same guy who was there. Like, mind you, when he was there earlier, it was like 2 p.m. All right? He was like there at 2 p.m., 1 p.m., something. But he's there early enough where it's like you could have figured out all your fucking shit way sooner than this. But I'm like... Okay, so I still can't eat anything. So I throw all that in the back and I go back to deal with him because he wants to deal with me now, apparently. Um, and I'm like, whatever. He's just buying accessories. This is going to be quick. It's going to be easy. <laughs> oh, I was so naive back then. So innocent. Where have those dimes gone, honestly? Where, where have they gone? I don't even know. Can I make this long story short? I don't think so. I think I said about the last thing and I still didn't whatever long story short but <laughs> wink wink not really um he starts picking out cases and this and that and blah 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 um and relatively and and he's taking pictures for his wife and facetiming his daughter to try and figure out what they want um and he couldn't get a hold of one and i'm just like hey 
you have like you you have this return policy you can return and exchange this with no cost to you blah 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 just if you think this is what they want just get it and then have them come back no big deal we'll exchange it who cares so he picks out some things and here's the thing with this promo you have to spend 200 or more um he was at 199.98 and while it seems fucking stupid and and it kind of is, it's still not 200 and it's programmed at 200, so it's not going to work. So I'm like, you literally need to find something else. And our store is not like a dollar store. We don't sell cheap shit. We don't sell shell, eh, sell generic crap that's gonna do whatever. So like most, like the cheapest thing that we had in there, I think is like maybe 10 bucks. We don't have like, oh, here's our dollar at. We don't have like a dollar section or a fucking discount section. Like our, my company does not do that. Um, so I'm starting to tell them you can get a, uh, a threaded cable for your phone, a charger cable. Um, it's $19.99. You can, if your daughters, whoever want pop sockets, those are between nine to 15. Um, they're getting iPhones and iPhones don't have headphone jacks anymore. So I'm like, Hey, if any of you guys have a wired pair of headphones that you like, you need an adapter and they don't come with the adapter. Those are like nine 97. Like you just need to add something on here. It don't fucking matter which just fucking pick something. So he's wandering around the store for like another, so we're closed at this fucking point, right? He came in like 15 minutes before closed, we're already closed, and he's wandering around the store trying to figure out what he wants, and he does this for like another 15 fucking minutes. So he's like in here for half an hour, and I'm just like, what are you, what are, what are you doing? Like, he does not know how to make a fucking decision. He's confused, he's lost, he can't decide what direction he's going in life, and you know what? We all have that fucking problem, buddy. We all are lost and confused, but we just fucking bullhead go forward and just see how it goes fucking live god damn it i don't fucking know um so finally he picks something and i get all the way through the order and he's like and like again like you know it's taking me a little bit like a little minutes to ring it up blah 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 cool this is all we want yes so i get to payment screen oh let me just call my wife and just make sure let me just confirm with my wife Okay, like, you know, you, you have only been FaceTiming and talking to her on and off. You, I'm ringing everything out. I'm confirming with you. And you're just like, let me just, let me just talk to my wife. Let me just see. And there's so my manager at this point comes up and he's like, what is going on? Like, do we have an error? Um, is the system not working? Like, is it, is it a, a price thing? Do I need to discount something? I don't care. Like what, like, why is this transaction taking so long? My manager's not trying to be a dick to me. Me and him are on the same wavelength. We want to go home. It's already at this point, it's like 20, 30 minutes past when we're supposed to leave and we're already closed and we can't do anything else until this guy leaves as far as shutting down the store. So we're on the same wavelength of how the fuck can we get him out of here? And I'm like, dude, no. I'm like, he won't make a decision. And he's like, tell them about the return policy. I'm like, I did. I fucking did. I told him to take whatever the fuck he thinks is good and then just bring it back if it doesn't fucking work. I'm like, I did. And he's like, well, what does he need a discount? I'm like, it's not the money thing. It's just the promotion, blah, 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 blah. And he's just like, fucking whatever. And I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, and he's like, what is he doing now? I'm like, he's fucking talking to his goddamn wife like as you know mind you we're all like whispering to each other angrily like he's fucking talking to his wife about i don't even fucking know what um so he finally comes back and now he's changing out the cases well they might want this now and they might want this and whatever and i'm like fucking whatever well here's the thing again my system is not great we often you know, it's called point of sale but we also like to say pos is piece of shit because sometimes it runs like a piece of shit so he was getting multiple different types of discounts and I had to keep removing and adding, removing and adding that my system glitched out and then it just stopped discounting everything and it just got confused. So then the order was a hundred bucks more. Well, the only way to fix that is to remove everything, cancel the order and redo it. Well, our system's still stupid and it allocates everything and it doesn't let me sell it because it's like, well, this is still in an order. So this is tied up right now. Well, it fucking isn't because I exited. So then I have to give it to my manager, have him unallocate it so I can can sell it again so we do the same thing fucking over we get to the end and he's like well I might want to do this instead of this actually I might want to do this fucking whatever and I'm like okay fine and then I go back and I change it I'm like okay this this and this and then now he's ch deciding between a case and a screen protector again and my manager literally comes up and he's like what can we do to expedite this like what is what's the issue what's going on how can i help you finish this up so we can get you on out of here you've been here for a very long time you know we need to close like what can we do and the guy's like i'm just still trying to decide between this and this and he's like 
So you want both of these. And he's like, yeah, but I can't decide. He's like, take this, put it in your bag, have it. Have it. We will ring this one out instead. Take this and have it. You can have it. And he's just like, just be like, like we're done. Like, <laughs> Like, my managers literally, like, have shit for free so you don't spend another 15 minutes deciding what the fuck it is you want to do because you just, you're just confused and lost, man. You're confused and lost, and you can't do anything without consulting your fucking wife because your nads are probably, like, fucking this. So... Again, I do have to change the order. It allocates shit again. I have to redo the order for like the fifth fucking time. And then finally at like literally 845, it's like literally like he planned the time the same. At like 845, we finally got this guy out the fucking door. We finally got, oh, I'm so sorry for keeping you guys late. Oh, like, you know, thank you so much for your help. I'm so sorry for keeping you late. It's like, bitch, no one is sorry for keeping anyone late when you pull this shit like you keep doing the thing you're apologizing for. Well, then what does it fucking matter? It's like slapping a fucking baby and being like, oh, I'm so sorry for smacking that baby. You know, I'm just fucking so sorry. Like, bitch, maybe don't do it then. Mm -hmm, maybe not, okay? Maybe not. Because again, this guy literally, it's just fucking accessories. All he wanted was cases and screens. It's just accessories, right? He was in the store for an hour trying to figure that the fuck out. He knew we were closed. My manager was literally doing, like, my manager literally gave him free shit to make him be done. And he just still was a whole lot of fucking, I don't even fucking know. So, and then again, yesterday, I got home super late and I'm angry and I'm tired. And all I'm doing is singing to my dogs. Ooh, excuse me. All I'm doing is singing to my dogs. It's beginning to look a lot like fuck this. And they were afraid. They look frightened because I'm just wandering the house, like changing clothes, getting water, making tea. Cause I need some motherfucking jasmine tea to soothe this soul. And, and my dogs are just like scared. Cause I just constantly, like, I don't know. I don't, I didn't know what else to say, but literally I would keep singing. It's beginning to look a lot like fuck this. And I just kept doing that over and over because I didn't know what else to do with my life. So it's that season, you guys. It's that season of retail where my soul leaves my body and I wither and die. That's just what's going on here. So I just really needed to get that all off my chest. I feel a little bit better now. Though I'm not going to say it. Like, I'm fucking thirsty. I'm hot. I'm fucking hot. I wish I, wish I was in a fucking tank top again. I'm like fucking melting. And now I need some water. There's barely any left. Ranting is hard work. So that's what's going on in my life, you guys. I wanted to show you something. What was I going to show you? It was a Snapchat. But of what? Of what? Maybe next vlog I'll remember the other thing I was going to show you. I know it was a Snapchat. But I don't know what it was. So anyway, so that's what's going on in my life, you guys. So feel free to tell me any stories you might have. Or if this is Facebook now, send your thoughts and prayers and maybe they will reach me. I don't know if they will. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I don't fucking know. I can't see the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, you all have a lovely rest of the Wednesdays and the Thursdays. And I finally rendered an episode of Metro. So I at least know I'm going to get you guys some Metro. Bye. Feel my power.